Welcome to my new apartment in Singapore. Come on in, let me show you around. I mean, <laughs> come on in. When you first come into the apartment, this is the main entrance area that I am so obsessed with. A bit of context about this apartment, it's a really, really old building, it's a heritage home, and I got really lucky because the landlord actually renovated this place. It actually came unfurnished, except for a few things, like it came with the blinds, and I am obsessed with these black blinds. So the rest of the apartment kind of follows this cohesive, wooden, black kind of theme. Here you have the beautiful sideboard that just perfectly fits this little gap area. This is the Castery Sawyer side table and it's the perfect color combo. It's so minimalistic, but I really love it. I keep a lot of my daily wear shoes in this sideboard and the, the top of it actually is perfect for just having some candles. I'm actually thinking of putting maybe like a vinyl record player here and just having a little music nook, so I'm so excited. And when friends come over, this serves as the perfect place to just put all the wine glasses and plates and whatever things that I'll need for hosting. And I've already hosted a couple of times, so I'm obsessed. And then I just needed some extra storage, so this sideboard has been perfect for it. I put some of my extra dinnerware and glasses in here and it is all nice and hidden, look at that. And then I have this wine fridge here, which is actually not even plugged in <laughs> because I don't have enough wine to justify the electricity that it will use. So it's got like half camera equipment <laughs> and half wine, but you know, the AC is on, so it's probably cool enough. One day, we will actually turn on this wine fridge. And then we are off to the dining room area, which is arguably my favorite place in the apartment. This dining room area is obviously where friends and I come together and we hang out and it's just so great. I've already made a lot of great memories here. This dining table and the bench were actually secondhand and I just found it online. Someone was selling it because they were moving. It was such a great find because I think both of these together were like 300 bucks. It's so well loved. It's a single slab of wood. I am obsessed with it and it's so sturdy. And I paired it with some new dining chairs and I am obsessed with these. This is also from Cassidy, so if you see a lot of cohesiveness, that's probably why. I love the fact that it's got the rattan, but then it's also got the black wood. I really like that these chairs don't have armrests and the fact that they're a little bit rounded because I think they park together a lot better. Even though this dining space looks huge, it's not big enough where we can have like really bulky chairs. So I like how they all just come together really nicely and if I had more people over, I can kind of bring out another two chairs and it doesn't look too cluttered or bulky. And one of the really big things I learned is if you are gonna get a rug in a dining room area, don't get a really light colored rug. So I actually love this rug here. All the rugs in the apartment are from the same place. It's from irugs.com. I really like the pattern and the darkness of the rug. I feel like it's colorful and it still gives it a lot of life, but we've definitely already spilled drinks and food on the floor. It's inevitable, it will always happen. And so you can't see anything, you know? There's no stains or anything because it's patterned. So I am obsessed with it. In this dining room area, you might have seen the artwork, which is actually my pride and joy. This was something that I had painted. I just wanted something that would give you that happy feel, like you're walking through a forest in the morning. There's some morning dew, some sun rays. So I didn't really have a reference photo. I kind of just went with what was in my heart. This was actually the biggest canvas size I could find in Singapore, but in an ideal world, I would have wanted one even kind of more horizontal, but for now, this is gonna have to suffice. On to the living room area. Uh, this is obviously where I chill and unwind and watch Modern Family. This big blue L-shaped couch is so great. It's so comfortable. And I never would have thought getting a blue couch would work, but it kind of does. And I love it because it adds so much character and fun. And I am obsessed with this little side table over here. It's so cute. How beautiful is that detail? This is the Casa C side table, also from Castery. Can you tell I am a fan? I love it because it just adds the perfect little table for me to put my coffee here. And at the bottom is actually where I keep a bunch of recipe books and this Manila Blahnik uh, design shoe book that my mom actually got me. So love this area. And then this Google Home actually means a lot to me, lol, because it was uh, a gift from my friends in Canada when I first moved to Singapore almost six years ago now. So it's 
kept me company through all my different apartments. And this cream colored throat, it's so soft. It's from Sunday Bedding, which is actually where all my bed sheets and duvets are from and have been from for years now. And I was actually also thinking of maybe getting, actually, plants for the apartment. I haven't had the chance to do it yet, but I really want to get a big ass tree here because the ceilings in this apartment are so tall and I think that's what gives it that kind of spacious feel. But a big tree right behind the side table would be so perfect. So let's move on to the next area. The width of this room is actually not that massive. So I didn't want to put a bulky coffee table or a TV console here like in my last apartment. So instead, I actually mounted the TV to the wall for, oh, I didn't mount it. <laughs> I mounted the TV to the wall and I love the fact that it just, <gasps> how cool is that? Whenever we're having dinner on the other side, I would just play this fireplace 4K live stream fake crackling noise video and it's, it's kind of nice. And then I finally got a proper sound system for the first time in ages. I actually got this along with a bunch of other home decor items, the Sonos speakers from 42, which I've been getting so many random things like wine glasses, just drinking glasses, plates, cups, everything from them. So I love this. And then we're gonna go to basically one of the coolest parts about this apartment. When you open this door, it leads you to this balcony, but not really because it's an enclosed area. But it's kind of like a planter area, and I plan to get a bunch of plants, hanging plants, everything. And I really want to just grow some herbs. And when you walk over here, it essentially leads you to the kitchen. Ah, how cool is that? I love this. I am obsessed with how massive this kitchen is, especially compared to my last studio, if you've seen my last apartment. So come on over. Here we've got a little bit of a storage unit, which I massively appreciate because you can tell there's so much stuff in here. <laughs> Everything is just honestly just shoved into this room. So let's just pretend we never saw this and turn the light off and close it. One of the things I mentioned earlier are the crazy high ceilings here. I love how much storage there is. You can tell that the cabinets go all the way up, which obviously I need a step ladder for. Look at it. I can just shove all my Tupperware and everything up there. But also, look at how cute this little cup set is. I have so many of these. This is from a local Singaporean brand called Home. How cute is this? And it comes with a little coaster. I always have my morning coffee in these and I love it. I think small things like this spark joy and therefore I have eight of them and they spark eight times the amount of joy. Haha. <laughs> Speaking of things that spark joy, I got these little things from like Lazada and there's like no brand name or anything. There are these little rubber human markers that you can put on wine glasses. So when I have friends over, they can each just identify their wine glasses by the little human and it's so cute. Anyway, small things in life that spark joy. Look at how beautiful this set of plates is. It's also from home. I just love it. It's got this textured surface and it's just the perfect dinner plate and every single friend that I've served food on, food, food, food to on this plate really like it and I just am obsessed with it. I'm slowly but surely collecting more of these kind of plates and things that just make me really happy and uh, yeah, I feel like that's what makes this place feel more like a home. I am no longer just buying things because it's the cheapest thing available in Ikea. I'm actually building, you know, my home with the items that I really love and I feel proud to give food to my friends on. Anyway, a few other random things that I really like. How aesthetic is the fact that all of this is black? So I finally got a soda stream for someone who loves drinking sparkling water. I no longer need to lug like cases and cans of them. I can just make it at home. They've got these really cool kind of flavor things that you can put into it after you carbonize it. Car carbonize it? You add some CO2 carbonate. <laughs> You just put a little bit of this flavoring in and then you have ginger ale DIY at home. So I've got so many of these bottles. Look at this, it's a Coca-Cola one. This is definitely my booze drawer, so we'll just close that. I am obsessed with this. It is a little swivel Nespresso pod display case. Once again, guys, it's the little things in life that matter. But I'm gonna spin you around to this other side. This is the shower area and my usual sink area. So it is quite compact, but you know what? I actually really appreciate the fact that they've managed to fit so much stuff in this tiny little space. Ow, that hurt. And then you come over here. This is the 
toilet area. And it's actually really convenient that it's separated because if friends are coming over, then it's just kind of like on its own and all my random skincare products are not just scattered everywhere. So there's not much to talk about this toilet. And we're back into the main entrance area. So it's like this little circular area. So these two doors here are the study and the bedroom. But before that, I want to show you this. How cute is this little hanging shelf? So it looks like it's like this vintage bronze Victorian style shelf. I actually originally wanted to get like a proper vintage one on Etsy, but by the time it shipped to Singapore, it was like 150, 200 bucks. I was like, hell nah. So I actually got this for like 10, 15 bucks on Lazada and it was white. And then I DIY'd it and I painted it with some like bronze and gold. And then it turned out so nice. I'm not usually really good at DIY, so I'm very proud of this. And then I think eventually I'll probably swap out the candle and then I'll put like a hanging plant and then just let the leaves kind of drape down. So plants are missing in this apartment right now. But let me show you the study. This is not just a study office, but also my woman cave. It's everything I love in one place. So when you walk in, you'll see the desk workstation here, the bike stuff on the wall, loud and proud over here. You can kind of see everything in one go. There's a beautiful couch. Let's start with the work and then we'll move on to the play. This is my first ever ergonomic chair. How cute is this chair? It's from Ergotune. It's this beautiful coral pink color. Everything is adjustable. Like if I had a hella long neck, it can adjust to that too. And then it's got back support, which is great because the other week I actually sprained my back trying to do a deadlift. But I love this and you cannot have an ergonomic chair without having a standing desk. So I've finally gone full tech transition. Voila. I thought I was gonna just stand here all the time, but I, what I realized is I actually really enjoy doing my video calls while standing because I realized I kind of talk like I'm in a presentation, so it makes it a lot more dynamic. And I've got one of these stands now. I actually think I might still get a proper monitor set up. I think for now, honestly, as long as my neck is not like this, it's all good. This desk is from Everdesk. I love it. It's got that kind of same wood theme with the black. So everything is cohesive and it makes you really happy. And I love all the different areas where I can store my things. And then also the cable management situation is so great. All my wires are just in one place. And if I don't want it, I can just this little leather mat is also from Everdesk. So I just kind of got this whole configuration in one spot. So I feel super productive. And honestly, one of my favorite things is when I am standing here doing my meeting, my background is this. Ah! So for those who are my viewers who know that I like cycling, this bike is my first ever bike. And then this is the one that I use all the time, which is why I intentionally made it lower so I can easily just pick it up. So these racks that my bikes are on are from Tons Bike. It's a cycling brand that's dedicated to making equipment for cyclists. I also got this vertical rack from Tons as well and it's so great. I obviously need to get one more pair of sunglasses. <laughs> I love the way everything lays out and my stinky shoes just get to air out here so I don't have to put it in the shelf. It's just so aesthetic. Oh. Let me actually finish on this side first. This is the wardrobe. Let's just pretend you don't see any of the stuff at the top. This wardrobe came with the apartment and I really wish it was one of those like wardrobes that went all the way to the top because that thing just collects dust. But anyway, there's no dust to be collected because I just have more stuff there. As you can tell with the shoes over there, I have a lot of clothes as well. So I got extra storage for my clothes. I got this drawer from 42. I think eventually I'll probably put some plants here and kind of like spruce it up, but I love this and it matches with everything else. This over here is actually a TV console that came with the apartment, one of the very few pieces of furniture that came here. But because I didn't want a TV console out there, I actually moved it in here and I love it because it's like a low book rack and all my books are here and I am obsessed. Welcome to my favorite reading nook in the apartment. This is such a cozy area. This is actually an outdoor couch from Castery. It's the Sierra outdoor couch and I love it. When I was looking for a couch that would fit this kind of like nook area of the apartment, the normal couches were all just so big and bulky if I wanted a three-seater one, but this one is just perfect. It's got the most beautiful kind of like rattan woven sides. And I got these throw cushions from Castery as well and I love the color scheme. I really wanted this room to be bright and energetic. So you'll see that a lot of the colors are kind of orange and yellow and pinks and just everything colorful. And this throw kind of 
embodies that as well. And also this rug, I love it. I didn't think I would be able to find such a nice patterned pink rug that isn't just in your face super over the top girly. So I just love how everything tied together here and during the daytime and sunset hours I can actually read really comfortably and I can just be horizontal but at night it's just so moody. I think I'll eventually get a small little table on the side here just to put my coffee cup but for now this is just absolute perfection. And then let's move on to the final area in this room. This is my makeup vanity area. I got this beautiful vanity from 42. It's a wooden one. It's got two drawers. It's where I put all my makeup over here. And then this mirror is actually separate. So I got this it's like just kind of leaning on it. But I love the contrast between this is kind of a little bit more modern and then a little bit more of a classic wooden vanity. It's just so pretty and I have all my jewelry here. And then the bottom, it's a bit empty right now, but I've got my yoga mats kind of just like chucked down in there. I eventually want to get some woven baskets and just kind of use it as storage and just not waste the space over here. But yeah, for now, this is my study slash chill room. Last but not least, let's go see the bedroom area. This is the bedroom. You can see everything in one go. This is actually the smallest room in the apartment, but it's literally where I just go and like Ugh. So, got the bedside tables from 42, and oh my goodness, these bed sheets. Can I just... It's so smooth, I would fall down. You guys know, if you've seen my last apartment tour, you would know I am a massive, massive fan of Sunday Bedding. It's a local Singaporean brand. Gotta love local brands. I have multiple sets of their bed sheets and duvets because this bamboo fiber is like the softest thing ever and I honestly feel like I can sleep 10 times better when I'm using these sheets. So I cannot go back to normal, regular, boring, duvets and bed sheets anymore. So if that doesn't make you want to try it, I don't know what will. My sleep quality is just so great. And it's very cooling. I'm obsessed with it. I mean, there's honestly not much else I can describe here for you. I keep a book by the bedside and I really try to read, um, but <laughs> sometimes I'm just so tired. I just kind of like KO. There's one more wardrobe here. I obviously use to keep a lot of extra clothes, <laughs> but also bed sheets and everything. And then, you know, even more even more suitcases, which we will not talk about that. Anyway, this is my apartment and I really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for sticking around and I've linked everything that I mentioned in the description box. If you want to follow me in the meantime, you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook if you still use Facebook. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!